going to do a painting now using a photograph for reference. And the photograph I've got here is one that I took while I was in the canoe going down the Y. Now obviously when you're in a canoe you can't just stop and uh, take the shot you want so I had to do this one very quickly and as you can see in the foreground here we've got an awful lot of uh, stuff that we really don't want to put into a painting. So simply use a couple of L's like this and if you frame that nicely like I've done there to me that makes a, a rather nice painting framed up nicely nice lights nice darks. So I made a nice preliminary sketch of that keeping it very simple and now we've got uh, the main structure of the, uh, the painting down on the board. But before I go, I'm going to do a, an overall wash over the whole painting. But I want to keep these lovely bits of highlights in here and maybe along the trees. So what I'm going to do now is go in with some masking fluid. But I'm putting these on very painting and very quickly. I'm flicking them on so that they don't end up as huge blobs which is so easy to do. And then when you come to wipe off your washes, you end up with a, a very blobby painting, which, which doesn't look very good. For these little edges here, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna, just, just tell me this is where I want my highlights. All this area is gonna be one glorious wet into wet wash. Right, the masking fluid's dry now, so we can get into putting some nice juicy colors down into this overall wash. We'll start off with a drop of clean clean water right over the whole area we don't have to worry about our highlights they've been preserved so we can just concentrate now on the act of painting the act of getting some beautiful rich colors down into here and I'm going to drop some little some sky colors into here keeping it there we go push that through there and let that drop down nicely And then take that down into the water. Bring that down into the water down here. So you've got your colour. It looks fairly strong, but it, it will it will go back quite sufficiently. To, there you go. Pull that in there. Drop that in there. You can see the the water it's dispersing really nicely. Okay. Then I want to go into here, into this foliage part here, and really start putting some some painting so let's get the color down and let it mix on the on the uh, in the paper we'll start getting some beautiful little white bits appearing here and there and then what we'll do is we'll put some more stuff down some more color onto it all the time keep the colors keep those colors moving see and try and keep them out of the sky here so I just use my hand as a, as a, as a mask just to keep it out of the see we're starting now the whole lot we're getting this lovely light coming down through the through the foliage which you can't get very well if you just sit there and, and plod away with a brush so and then just try and bring that slightly lighter down through there and drop this down into the water and then just there we go we're into the background trees sitting in there and we're just See how we're knocking that back a bit there. There we go. And then we blued that down. We used a little ultramarine on that one. It just made that a little more steely blue. Look at that. See, that's going in there nicely. Keep the colours going. Keep them moving about all the time. Now you've got a little dribble down there. Don't worry. We've, that's got to be green anyway at some stage. So we can just drop it, drop it. Now we're gonna, we can come back into here. A little bit of cobalt blue. And now look at these. Look at these colours now. This, this is when it starts. This to me is what watercolour is all about. The water in watercolour. Getting that, getting this whole lot moving about and mixing. Just a little bit darker through here. I think it'll make this a bit steely. So we just a little drop instead of the cobalt, we'll just mix a little bit of uh, there we go, a little ultramarine. Look at that, just in there. We want to keep that little bit coming down through there. So we, there we go. Yeah, lovely job, lovely job. And we'll now we're coming down through here. Let's see, it could be easy to lose your way on this lot. And just, it's a case of wetting a little bit, drying a little bit, and moving it around, keeping the paint moving. So let's really give this some, a bit of voomer. That's a technical term, by the way. So let's get this into, there we go, look at that. Lovely, lovely. You can get some, Beautifully, beautifully rich colours with 
with watercolours. Watercolour does not have to be dull and boring. You can, you can use these beautiful, vibrant colours. And the edge of those trees, now you see that we've got the edge of the trees just about here. So we've got these at the edge of this tree. And we're just, if you like, tickling that paint into that. There we go. But I'm leaving, can you see I'm just leaving some of this lovely yellow that's sitting around here. I don't, what I don't want to do, I don't want to go in and obliterate all those lovely marks that I've made before. So we just go in, touch a little bit in here. There we go, there we go. behind here. Now we need this to go slightly bluer and, and orangey because that's behind this lovely dark bit so we'll just drop that in there but we'll let it flow back into the into the wash that we've got up here and again it's all it's all moving. We're talking foliage here, we're talking foliage and reflections, they're just melding on here. Oh, wonderful. Right now what I'm going to do is when I get to this sort of stage the uh, a few parts here are actually starting to just go a little bit so rather than them There we are. So we just we can just drop it, and the paint will stay more or less where it's where it's put. With just a little bit of diffusion here and there. So we'll just put that in. Now let's have a let's refer to the uh, sketch. See how we're getting on. Right now we've got this little bit in here, which is a a bit of background bank. There's a tiny little bit of bank. So what we're going to do is just going to take a bit of a tissue and just yeah, just drop that over there. And then just stick in a little bit more of the old cadmium yellow. It probably looks a bit garish, but at this point, but look, it'll it'll move, it'll move. There you go. And then that, that. and we just let that up into there. The colours, see how these colours are really coming in, really, really, really moving around. Uh, there, we want to just keep that simple in that background there. So we'll. Uh, It's imperative you don't let everything just drain away here. We've got to, that's why I'm moving the board around. By moving, tilting the board, we're keeping the water moving here and there, so everything's just moving slightly. And we're still keeping that, that tension going within the painting. Look at this, look at this, absolutely. Yeah, I think we can do with just putting a little bit more into here now. And it can't, it's very easy at this stage to start fiddling. You know, you're in there, you're really moving into it. So take stock by all means and maybe modify a little bit, but don't overdo it. It's so easy to overdo it, it really is at this stage. You know, you get caught up, I mean, I do it, you get caught up with the, uh, the excitement of it all, and before you know where you are, you think, oh, whoops, lost that. There we go, look at this. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, yes. And you can just see, probably see here as well, where the, the slight edges for the masking fluid, just these little touches, these little aid memoirs here that are just going to help me. So when I come in, I want to drop in the darks in and around here, under there. It just gives me a little idea of where I'm going to put the stuff. So to be honest with you, I think I'm going to leave this now, otherwise I'm going to end up fiddling. And I'm going to be doing exactly what I'm telling you not to do. So we'll let that dry absolutely flat now. If you, if you leave it on an angle, it'll all drain away. So we'll leave this to dry flat now and then come to back to it when it's bone dry.